So today we're going to talk about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Those of you who've been around the channel a while will know that I've already covered this in previous alpha tests. But with the upcoming beta test on the 24th of February creeping ever closer, I thought it'd be time to check out in more detail some other information regarding Player Unknown's Battlegrounds that you guys may have missed. So without further ado, let's start on what I believe to become the best Battle Royale game out there. The development team behind Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, known as Blue Hole, look to be a very talented gang working all kinds of magic in Unreal Engine 4. And with that being said, let's take a look at a sneak peek of the new weather mechanic coming soon to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. There's not much footage floating around of this yet, just a couple of clips that they've posted publicly on their Twitter account, but from what I understand, it will be in the upcoming beta for us all to try out. And also, I'm not mistaken, this may be the first time in a Battle Royale game that there is different weather effects. Another feature coming soon that gets me all excited is destructible environments, being able to destroy doors and fences in the upcoming beta. The dev team also say they plan to increase the number of destructible objects in the future. The team have also reworked the entire animation system to create a much more realistic experience. This new set of animations impact all character motion and movement. The team also added new reload animations for all 17 types of weapons. Speaking of weapons, a more precise recoil system has been implemented, allowing the player to better control each weapon based on their various characteristics. Also, the team will continue to tune gun mechanics throughout the beta test. One thing I'm really looking forward to seeing is the new user interface. The team have spent the last three months completely redesigning both the UI and the UX for inventory management and game interface, saying the new interface will be much more intuitive and easier to use when in the heat of battle. On top of those awesome features and changes, there has also been alterations to the world level design, like the addition of a swamp area, flooded town, logging site, ruins, a power plant, and underground bunker, quarry, and a shooting range. And the cherry on top of these map changes? Lighting. Real-time global illumination has been completed and implemented, providing for a much more realistic lighting effect. Wow, that all sounds and looks wonderful. But when can we play this Falcon, you ask? Wow. The team do plan to go into early access shortly after the beta test has come into completion. While the team behind Player Unknown's Battlegrounds don't yet have a date set for when this will happen, but at the rate they've been working so far, I shouldn't think we'll have to wait too long. And of course, those that don't have access to beta test on the 24th of February, I got your back, spies and girls. I'll be there from day one testing all these new features, live on Twitch, and making videos for you lovely peeps as well if you can't make it to the streams. Make it to the streams. So do you like the direction the team are taking Player Unknown's Battlegrounds? Are you a fan of Battle Royale style games? Let's talk about that in the comments below. I'll leave all links as well to the latest dev blogs for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds for you to check out for yourselves for the most amount of information that they hold. You'll also find a link to my Twitch page in the description below. Give it a click. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you really wanna. And I'll see you peeps next time.